interesting what you said there you know, about uh, get the right financing in place. So again, people who are starting the business, they're all excited. What different types of financing are there out there? Well, actually setting up, when you think, you, sometimes you think when you're setting up is really difficult to get the financing. Actually, there's quite a lot of things in place that you could look at. Um, you've got the traditional borrowing, so you could be looking at just borrowing uh, from uh, the banks. Uh, if you've got experience in your field, the banks will be very happy to look at your business plan and your potential for the business. Um, there's also government startup loans. So this 25 grand loan that is just available, that is available for startup businesses. Uh, there's also then some other types of uh, debt borrowing, um, lots of local enterprise partnerships, look out for those because a lot of them will have different pots to lend to you. Some of them as well will be doing match for, matched funding, so it may be as much money that you're able to invest into the business that they, you can match, so you, it, sometimes it's not just lending you have to look at what you can put into the business so yeah the second thing is what can you put in have you got money you know from savings or from a redundancy but be careful obviously any business is a risk and even if you do really well when you grow fast it takes up a lot of cash so only put in the money that you really don't need in the short term that you can put in for a long-term investment um, and then that sort of neatly goes into, you know, besides you're obviously happy to invest in your business, can you convince others to? Uh, now, obviously, put, getting them in it on the ground floor of the investment, it can be quite expensive regarding the amount of equity you might have to give away. Uh, but you may have some uh, friendly people that you know um, that already have faith in you and understand how good you are in this field um, and may be willing to uh, invest into this enterprise. Um, or you may wish to get your business to a certain level before you bring in the investment so that you can perhaps get more investment for a smaller stake. You know, there's pros and cons of at what stage you bring the investors in, uh, but, but it, it actually makes the business a lot stronger often with third party investors, because often they do bring to you more than just the cash.